Hey, what's up you guys? Break you over here say what hell I got a brand new video and all and everything showing off the tips and tricks and all that good stuff for streaming both on the Twitch, YouTube, Hitbox, well now Smashcast and you know the thingamajiggy. So let's dive on in. Our topic today for the video is going to be a battle between CPU and GPU. Which one's better and which one should you use? Let's find out. On our very first test, we have CPU on our left side and GPU on the right side. And as you can see, not much of a difference when you're stationed on everything at the 3500 bit rate. But let's see if that changes when we move over to the movement side. In our second test, pretty much now we are testing with movement on everything. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference. And at this point in time, it is bumped down to 30 frames per second. Very sorry about that, as it does put a lot of taxing when you're doing the whole streaming on both the computer that's running the game and at the same time streaming as well. So just keep that in mind. So in conclusion, pretty much we can say right here and right now and all that good stuff that it really depends on the game that you play. While CPU is the best choice to when you're doing your video and all and everything for streaming, some cases you might have to just move over to the GPU if your CPU is running at 100%. At the same time, if your GPU is running at 100%, then it's very much safe to say you want to move over to CPU. However though, if both of them are running at 100%, you definitely need to double check the settings for both your video games and also for the streaming as well and that is it for the video today i really hope you liked the video and all and everything it was kind of a little bit hard to find a really good game to do the 60 frames also at the same time just trying to find something that's really optimized sort of ish and to kind of push a little bit of the cpu and gpu side and as you can see you know it does come with a consequence when you're trying to stream at 1080p at the same time with the 60 frames per second it's really hard and taxing so just an fyi on that in some cases you know what it really is best to just bump a little bit down and bump to that 720 at the 60 frame or in some cases 720 to 30 frames but hey like the video and all and everything hit that like button hit that dislike button if you really hate it and all and everything comment down below tell me what other tricks and tips and all that good stuff you want to know about and all and everything hit that subscribe button on youtube hit me on twitch and all and everything i do a lot of streaming both on twitch and youtube so hey i'll see you guys next time and also visit me hey what's up hey i haven't forgot about y'all bye bye